Hey folks, Ed here from Brain Pulp TV, and I am back with the second part of my Soma playthrough. If you remember from the last episode, I think we've finally gotten to the meaty area of the game, at least I think it is anyways. Uh, we received our brain scan and it somehow transported either us or our consciousness to a completely different area. I kind of jumped ahead to a room that I maybe wanted to not go to quite yet and explore the hallway a bit more. I was a little worried for time in the last episode, so I'm actually going to start off by taking a step back, going to the hallway, seeing some stuff I missed, and then progressing maybe back into this room. So let's get to it. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to go back in the hallway. Because I kind of skimmed through this area. I saw a lock in the door and I got super excited. Oh. Can I swing this open? Oh. No, there appears to be a lock. Okay. I believe this was... What's that? Nothing. Okay. This is where I came from. Okay, good. So now that I got my bearings. Um, first aid. Case of injury, burns, these are all very, very important, and I probably will suffer all of them throughout the game, so. Uh, what's this? Data buffer available, and some sort of weird hand signal. Carl, it's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock out the comm center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving our power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. How did I do that? Okay, so that was not... That wasn't playing through, like, an intercom. That was... Was that playing through an intercom, or was that playing through his head? The way everything was sort of wavy, I'm assuming that ever, he somehow linked right into uh, that communique. So, okay, that's interesting. Uh... Bathroom. Let's see, now he didn't take a shower before uh, going to the doctor's. Oh, what's this? Cologne? Can I use it? Oh, no, but apparently I can throw it. Okay. Uh, so maybe he wants to take one now. Oh, no. It's always fun in a game like this to look through the toilet. Because you never know what you're going to find. It's a water bottle. Paper ball. Okay, nothing too exciting here. Is there a light in here? Like it's 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 fairly well lit, but okay, it's ugh. that's fairly disgusting. Okay, anything in here? Comb. Well, that's not very useful. So this is some sort of disgusting goop that's oozing out of some sort of metal. Wrapped caterpillar. All right. We got some coffee and food and stuff. A tray. Ooh, there's something back there. What's that? Can I get that out? Now this doesn't seem to be a game that's heavy on inventory, so I'm guessing I'm not really missing much, unless it sort of shows up as something that's going to pop into my inventory or just simply disappears. So I'm not too worried about lifting stuff up, unless it's something I can read or... Speaking of which... Oh, that's like a... Some sort of green map. From a distance, it looked like goo. It looked like some sort of... Someone's, you know, spread some green goo on... Uh... What's that? Home is a state of mind. Good to know. Good to know. Anything in the trash? No. Yeah, I don't think this is really um, going to be something where I'm, I'm missing key things in an area. I mean, I could be completely wrong. But, uh, okay, so we've gone through the break room now. Okay, now we can probably head back into that room. I just want to take a peek around here. I'm always terrified of missing stuff, but at the same time, you know, I know I don't want to... I, I can always fix certain things in editing, but I don't want to spend like half an hour looking through a room where there's absolutely nothing. Yeah, see, there's that glitching, that, that weird sort of glitching that was going on the first time I walked in, which makes me think I'm still definitely in the scanner. Oh, wait, this is, is this another one of those? No, okay, so there's nothing on that one. Um, so, yeah, there seems to be a strange... Like, it all seems to be metal, but at the same time, it's got an organic look to it, right? Like, even these little tendrils and stuff, it's, they're just wires, but they're, they're, they, they look like they're supposed to be some sort of, like, plant life or... 
or mimicking plant life or, or like the veins in, in a body. Uh, nope, nothing in there. Nope, that's just some socks. Okay. This looks like it's some sort of maintenance room. Did it actually say that? Did it say that on the front? Am I just restating the blatantly obvious? Okay, so we even have it here. It's a break room, tech depot, robot dock, service station, and storage. So this is probably... Oh, it's right on the wall. Machine hanger. Okay. So this one looks like... This one almost looks like a dinosaur. It's really glitching when you get close to those things. Okay, so I, I, I mean, I have certain theories early on about what's happening, but... Oh, wait. Did you hear that? Okay, that's just probably general sparking. Anyways, I was saying I have some theories about possibly what's happening. I think we're still in the scanner. So I think we're just, it's our consciousness which is either sent somewhere or we are in some sort of VI program now and this is sort of like a visual representation of what's going on in our brain or I could be completely wrong and none of that's true. These things are creepy as hell. Oh, oh, okay, let's. She's not talking to me, right? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell. So I'm gonna <laughs> shut you down. Okay, so at least I'm not the only one who thinks these things look what the f What was that? What was shift to run, right? Shift to run, okay. I'm hovering my finger over the shift key. Okay, like I said, at least I'm not the only one who thinks these things look creepy as hell. I can touch it again. Okay, let's see if it's anything's new this time or if it's the same thing. Oh no, it's just the same thing. If I move away, does it stop? Does the link stop? Okay, good. Slowly, but I mean, you know, you can move away to, to sort of cut that link. Uh, and there's no way up there, right? Doesn't appear to be. Okay, so the others can talk, which means I'm guessing all these robots... I mean, it's a wild hypothesis based on nothing but just one single, you know, clip, but I'm guessing they've all come to life at some point. Or maybe the robots are coming to life? I don't know. Where is all that noise coming from? Oh shit. Look at crouch and then lean. Okay. And there's no zoom, right? Because it's just using your normal eyes. Okay, that definitely was not open before. Did anything open up over here? That's still locked. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to quickly check to see if anything opened up here as well, too. Uh, I'll run. I'm not sure if stealth is really important right now. It did say to sort of, like, look around corners. So I'm guessing caution might be warranted. Though I think I just sort of discovered how to crouch on my own. I never actually said crouch. And usually they'll tell you something before it becomes super important. Okay. Or this. There's 
no way. Yeah, there's no way I can get in there. Okay, service station, storage, and robot dock. I mentioned in the first one um, how easily I get startled in games. Uh, even ones that aren't necessarily meant to be creepy. And I have a feeling that's really going to become more and more apparent to you guys as this goes on. Okay, there's nothing. No controller. I still need an Omni tool, right? I need to find an Omni tool. Uh, hopefully, I didn't miss that. Okay, now I definitely need to, Okay, need to crouch, need to crouch. Okay, I'm less noisy. Oh, I don't have to hold in. Okay, I thought I had to hold in control as well, too, to keep crouching, but apparently I don't. Um, this is... I'm hoping that when I find this Omni tool, it has like. That has screaming, right? That sounded like screaming. I don't think I want to go up there yet. No, I think I'm going to take a look around and see if I can find maybe a large blunt object or something that I can... Or this Omni tool thing that... Okay. So that's twice now I started. I, you know, I have no idea what that's going to look like on camera. When I play back, I'm, I get to finally see what I look like when I'm freaked the hell out. Um, at the risk of being heard, I'm going to move. I'm actually going to run for a bit. Because I think maybe I should have been. Should have gone through this door. Okay. I don't like the fact that I'm panting. I'm just going to shut that behind me just for shits and giggles. Um... I think I'm fairly safe. I don't need to crouch. Okay, so we're looking for an Omni tool. I have no idea if that's going to... Or should I be crouching? Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, this looks promising. Omni Tool version 2.5. The Omni Tool is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable the user to automate routine actions through basic logic charts. Over time, the Omni Tool will automatically adapt to its programs, adapt its programs to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. The Omni Tool has a short range signal useful, useful for basic or automated actions, such as opening doors while performing complex operations. The Omni Tool should be physically connected to a workstation or terminal. To upgrade your device, simply slide operators into the main or auxiliary slot. The main has a standard C1121 connector, which allows users to fit most market Cortex chips into the Omni tool. Note that introducing an additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. The auxiliary slot is a multi connector fitting a large range of tool chip models, including but not limited to a whole bunch of numbers and letters. Okay, and if there's anything on the back, nope. So here we go. Nice, now we're gonna go back to that room. Is there any way to put it away? Okay. Use tab to see your inventory. Omnitool, that's all I got, so. Okay. Oh. No. Now this goop is uh, oozing from the ceiling there. Okay, I'm glad I went to this room.
That's disgusting. I'm pretty sure he must have just slipped and fell um, into the tendrils of some sort of weird thing on the wall. Uh, it probably was just a workplace accident. Nothing to be too concerned about. Oh, there's scissors. That's another- he could have been running with those, and slipped, and decapitated himself. Happens every day. Nope, don't want that. Okay. Nothing else here looks like I can pick it up. I think everything goes shiny, right? When you can actually manipulate it in some way or put it in your inventory. Um, and there's no going through that door. Okay, so let's crouch as we open the door, just in case something is waiting for us. And we're gonna... Yeah, that was there before. Okay, I don't think we need to crouch anymore. Back. What the hell? What was that? Okay, so I hit the wrong button. I don't know if I'm just hearing ambient sound or Okay, let's see if this shuts. It doesn't really matter if this does shut, right? Because there's a big open window there for something to come through, but I just feel better with it being shut. Now. Insert on retail for access. Where do I insert it? Okay, what am I doing wrong? Oh, right here, right? Okay. There we go. The little thing looks like a stick. Service console up to three, including pilot seat activated. Awesome. Okay. Uh, access denied. Servers are offline. May power suspended. Initiate wow setup. Alrighty. Uh, I did not mean to go out oh, back. There we go. What's that? Uh, a bunch of stuff looks glitchy. It's unavailable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up, back, back. Wait, back up. I just saw something. Toronto. Huh. Okay. Isn't that interesting? Simon Jarrett. David Munchie. Okay. The Omni Tool. Manage tool chip. Your Omni Tool is in perfect condition, but not fitted with a tool chip. Note that without a tool chip, your FST kit will be unavailable, including your cross-site security access. To continue using your designated privileges, please insert a tool chip and run an update. Tool chip not inserted. Okay. So we need to find a tool chip. Uh, does it, your Omni tool is in perfect condition. And once again, yeah, the yada yada with the tool chip. Unlock toolbox. Awesome. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pathos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running. But there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock down the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors. Basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? 
Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. It's interesting how someone who sounds like kind of an asshole is giving you the advice not to be an asshole, but I guess that's kind of how thing normally goes. Uh, inventory. All right, so I need a chip. Right? Now that the toolbox is open. You know what? This is pissing me off because I keep hitting it. And I did not throw it. How do you throw it again? There we go. Good enough. Ooh, chips. Okay, perfect. Tool chip found. Tool chip found. Awesome. Are these all different? Oh, wait. Pick, pick that back up. Oh, these are all just basically the same sort of chip, huh? No, okay. I can only use the one. All right. Manage tool chip. Uh, let's update this sucker. Okay, updating security ciphers. Tool chip security cipher updated. Awesome. Can that close that way? No. And I can't go back after I did that. Oh, did I just screw up? Now, I just want to put it back in here for a second because apparently I can't. No Omni Tool found. Okay, can I put it back in here? No, it's not going to let me, is it? Well, hopefully I didn't just screw that up. I can use this thing now, though. Excuse me if I don't read this out loud, so I don't think that's something uh, I'll be doing. No pilot found. No pilot found. Connection status. Offline. Okay. Carl Simkin. In to uh, support Amy Azaro. Vehicle tugger. Task. Replace heat shields. Result success. Notes. Simkin reported uncharacteristic levels of nausea after the mission. Diagnostics show a spike of electromagnetism surrounding the pilot helmet, which is believed to be the cause of Simkin's symptoms. No indication to what created this anomaly. The pilot system has become increasingly unreliable. Everyone who's been using it the last couple of months has been having headaches and spells of nausea. Last week, Gavin was knocked out for 30 hours, wow, when trying to, to direct a helper cluster. This is not acceptable. Of course it's not. We will figure out, we'll figure this out, but for the time being, I'm shutting down the usage of the pilot system. This means you will have to do some more heavy lifting, performing the operations through programming or physical labor. No one is happy about this, so don't bother complaining. Jane Adams, Chief Factor. Okay. And I think that's it, right? All right. Okay, well, I feel good. I got an Omni tool now. Okay. That was not there before. Does anyone else you get you guys hear that, right? That What the fuck is that? Okay, so this is that corridor I was going down before I backtracked. Okay. 
Okay, so that was nothing. Just a little bit of scary shit. I don't think I need to crawl anymore. And this is nothing new here. Okay, so let's just run for a bit. Oh, that's cap locks. There we go. I can either go down there or I can go back. I'm going to go back a bit. And I end up in an empty corridor. Okay, so that's good. So I will go back down that door. Okay. That's a hell of a view. Let's listen to this. I'm here. Ready to let it go yet? I guess so. Plenty of opportunity to go ahead on the fishing packet, Sam. I'm going to miss this place. Look, come on. Come on. We've worked here for years. You're not even going to miss it a little bit. A power plant full of psychotic machines. I'll find a way to go. <laughs> That's cold, man. It's not Upsilon's phone that got swarmed. Okay, so the machines are definitely not our friends in this. Um, this one looks slightly less creepy, though. Those fists that it's got kind of bother me. Oh, look at this. Like nothing happened. Everything still looks the same. All science alike. Interesting. Some doodles with some weird sort of... Those tendrils look like the ones that you see in the... Uh, some of the other areas. Only those look organic. Maybe they're not organic. Maybe those are metal. Okay, that map? Maybe that map shows like a secret area or something. Okay. And this is more fish with stuff. Back and different. Thick structured gel they can't shake. Wawu's Freaky Fishes. And more, what looks like more maps. I hope I don't have to memorize those maps. Anything else here that's worth reading? Okay. Did that glow? I thought I saw that glow. Warning, watch out for moving doors. Oh, thanks. Uh, okay, folks, we've been going on for about half an hour, so I think I'm going to stop things right here. So there you have it. That is the second part of my Soma playthrough. There was a couple of moments where I got startled. I haven't had any full-on scares yet, so I haven't cried like a little girl, which is kind of ahead of the curve from where I thought it would be. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment, or if you have any questions, or especially if you have any advice, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys very much for liking and subscribing. Take care, everyone, and I will see you all very soon.